Hi guys, it's me. I hope you're staying safe and well. For this week, I'm gonna give you a book haul. I haven't finished any of my current reads yet, and so I'm gonna give you a book haul instead. I'm also very confident that my mom wouldn't find this channel and see how much I've been spending on books. And so I'm not going to keep my books a secret from you. Um, so let's start! Two weeks ago, I decided to start my own Penguin Classics collection and also the Penguin English Library collection. I must say that this was influenced by Booktube and I'm quite happy about it. I've been planning to read a lot of classics as much as I can and buying them in very nice edition would make it even more fun. I got all of these books from Fully Booked, my favorite place here, and the staff was very kind enough to um, process all of these orders to the million of phone calls I've made. So let's start with these cuties from the Penguin English Library. If you're like me and you want to explore gothic literature, um, Frankenstein is an essential read for this genre. This is writ written by Mary Shelley and the idea of the story came about from a nightmare that she had when she was only 18 years old. Frankenstein is also considered as the one that gave birth to the modern science fiction novel. I'm actually a little bit disappointed that it is not a cover with a textured feel to it as some booktubers have mentioned but it's okay maybe next time I could get one from the other titles. book I got from the Penguin English Library is Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. This is actually my very first Jane Austen book. So it is said that um, this was initially entitled First Impressions and that Elizabeth, who is our main character here, is actually Jane Austen's personal favorite among all of her heroines. On to the Penguin Black Classics. I've got four here. Um, let's start with Arthur Miller's The Crucible. Written in 1953, this is about the witch hunts and trials in 17th century Salem, Massachusetts. Now, on to the next book. Um, this actually surprised me so much when I saw this one in my bookshop last year. I had a little chuckle, um, thinking that there's someone out there who would buy this book out of curiosity and have a very interesting reading experience, to say the least, and probably wouldn't touch this book ever again. So this is the book. This is the Marquis de Sade's The 120 Days of Sodom. My boyfriend had me pick this book and I really couldn't argue because he's paying half of all these haul. Um, he already has the book Justine and Juliet and I'm currently reading his gothic tales actually which is very very interesting I was very surprised how I loved his prose even though the subject matter is really very um, uncomfortable so yeah I got this um, and it's going to be on our library 
and look at how caramel looks. So if you haven't read the Monkey Desad yet, I suggest that you watch the movie Salut. first. We actually saw it um, with our college friends um, a couple of years ago. I couldn't remember anything from the movie maybe because I decided to just completely erase it in my memory but yeah you have to watch the movie Salo first before um, really deciding if you want to read this book I must say if you're not familiar with the Maki yet um, think about this. If Christianity is named after Christ, then sadism is named after the Maquis de Sade. You should um, approach this with caution. But if you're studying him and his works or have read some of his works already, um, this particular edition has the translation of Will McMoran and Thomas Wynne and was reviewed as an exceptional translation in its capacity to capture the true voice of the original 18th century French text. Okay, so we're on to the big bodies. Um, the Brothers Karamazov by Fyodor Dostoyevsky. For Sigmund Freud, this was for him the most magnificent novel ever written. So this is the final novel of Dostoyevsky and which he spent two years of writing before it got published in 1880. And it was reported that he was already very, very sick of epilepsy when he was writing this book. And that he would have episodes or seizures in the midst of finishing it. So this definitely makes it even more special. So along with Gothic literature, I have also taken interest with Russian literature since stumbling upon the work of Anton Chekhov two years ago. I have bought a lot of books already under this genre and I'm very excited to start with it. also got The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandre Dumas. So this is an adventure novel. It's an epic tale of suffering and retribution and was actually inspired by a real-life case of wrongful imprisonment. This is one of Dumas' um, popular books along with The Three Musketeers and The Black Tulip. Um, this was completed in 1844 and was said to have been the most popular book in Europe at its first appearance and um, for some time subsequently. The last book for this video, it's not a classic, but it's influenced by Booktube. I have here Delia Owens' Where the Crawdads Sing. It's a coming-of-age tale, and since it's a murder mystery, I had to pick this up. 
so these are the books for this video for this particular haul it's actually just part one of the book haul that i'm going to do for you guys um i just lost all my control for the past two weeks i stopped reading for three days to rest my eyes because i've been getting headaches again what did i do i visited online bookshops again so i hope to catch you next time if you like to see classics i have more in the next videos um okay so bye um this is an adventure novel it's an epic tale of